Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farron channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up and earn Satox coin on over 500 plus of your Steam games. So stick through and watch this video all the way through to the end to learn how to set up and earn Satox coin correctly. Okay, so now before we jump in and show you guys exactly how you set yourself up to earn Satox coin from when you're playing games, let's have a little look through the intro they've got on their website and let's have a look through the summary and some of the games that you can play. So this is the first play to earn without the real need for any dedicated service that means you don't have to jump into a community driven uh, server or anything along those lines you can jump into any game of your choice as long as it's on your steam library and you'll be able to earn and sat ox and play the game so as you can see from the top 20 games played at the moment we've got rust Clicker Heroes, Wreckfest, CSGO, GTA SA, and Dota. And there's a fair few other games on that list. Now, that doesn't mean that this is the most exclusive list for all the games that can be played. There is plenty of games on Steam that you can actually play this through. So let's move on to the sign-up feature for Satox Coins. So first things first, what you're going to need to do is you will need to grab yourself a Satox Coin core wallet so the first thing that you're going to need to do to start earning satox coin when you're playing your games is you're going to need to go ahead and grab yourself a satox core color wallet so go ahead and check out the links down in the description i'll make sure to leave all of these links so straight to the satox wiki and i'll also leave all the links to each individual thing that you'll need to set yourself up so first things first what you're going to need to do is go through and download the windows wallet for yourself so go ahead and click on the 2.1.0 windows tar.xz then what you're going to need to do is open this up and extract this from the folder and you'll need to go ahead and install this now installing your satox wallet is extremely easy so the first thing we're going to need to do is just take ourselves to our desktop create ourselves a folder call that exactly uh, anything that you'd like so let's just change it over to satox2 just because i already have this set up for myself so let's go and copy all three of these files drag and drop those straight into your folder if you if you're not able to extract this or you're not able to all, uh, open up the satox coin folder then please make sure that you download something like winrar or 7zip so that you can extract these files now go ahead and open up this folder now the first thing that you're going to need to run when you're in here is just the Satox coin QT and that's the only thing that you're going to need to do. So what you need to do is just double click on this and follow through on the installation process once everything comes up onto your screen. Now for myself already I do have my Satox coin already installed so I do not need to go through and show you guys this process. Okay so once your wallet installation has completed your wallet will look exactly the same as this but you will have a balance of zero satox so what we need to do now is take ourselves over to the receive tab and then what we're going to need to do is create ourselves a label and call this so as you can see at the bottom there i have p2e earnings so you can just put that in there for yourself and then press request payment and this here will be your address so let's copy this address and let's take ourselves back over to the wiki okay so let's move on to step two now so step two we're going to need to get our steam id and we're going to need to log into our steam account so let's bring up our steam and bring ourselves over so your steam will look exactly the same as this now to find the user identifier code that we need we're going to need to take ourselves over to account details now that we're on account details the steam id is just here so we're going to need to copy this once you have your steam id let's move on to step three so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to visit explore.sataverse.io forward slash stream so if we take ourselves over to this page okay so on this step is very very important that we make sure that we put in our correct satox coin wallet address and we make sure we pop in the steam id that i've just shown you how to collect from your steam now once you have populated both of these boxes all you need to do is press submit and once you press submit if this is your first time what it will do is it will redirect you to a steam login page and what you're going to need to do is you will need to log into your correct steam account for the one that you've just put in your user identifier for okay now once that has done you just need to click in click on sign in and if everything worked you'll be redirected to the explore satoverse 
website. So now once you have signed in and it's redirected you to the explore.satafirst.io, you can now start playing games within the Steam and start earning Satox on almost any of the games that you guys play. Now we've successfully set ourselves up to earn Satox coin when we play any of the games that are listed on Steam. The only thing left to do really is to open up Steam and start playing any of the games of your choice within your library and from that point there you will be earning Satox coins. Now if you do take a look through on to their rewards and the statistics and proof of game score these are the things that you're going to be paid based on so you'll be paid on a proof of game score is our scoring system that is based on public steam information more activity you have on steam the higher the proof of game score that you'll get so this means for those of you that like to get in-game achievements uh, the time that you've played the game and things like that these are what you'll be rewarded on so for those of you that are playing let's say uh, you know Call of Duty or you're playing PUBG, you know, winning and getting, you know, uh, kill streaks and, you know, getting achievements at the end of your game. These are the type of things that will increase your proof of game score and overall increase the amount of Satox that you can earn per game. Let's have a look over on to the rewards and statistics. Now they do have a Discord group that I'd recommend you guys go and jump in if you want to learn anything more about the proof to earn concept that they have at the moment. But it is also worth mentioning that they have implemented a anti-cheat feature. So for those of you, you know, that want to come in and cheat and things like that, um, Satox isn't going to be rewarding those of you that are cheating. It's only going to be rewarding those of you that, you know, want to play games quite quite a lot. It is also worth mentioning in that you guys should set your steam profile to public so let's open up steam take ourselves to our profile press on edit profile and if we take ourselves down to privacy settings now you see where it says my profile public you have the options to change that from private friends only and change that to public save that as it is and then you're good to go from there you can jump into your games now um, you need to play your games for at least 15 to 30 minutes before the system updates and if the state is, is, is not updated after 30 minutes go ahead and clear your browser cache right guys so there you have it you should now be successfully earning satox coin when you play any of the games on your steam account let me know down in the comment section if you guys have used satox coin before in the past if you've heard of the project or if you plan on going to use the project let me know down in the comment sections right guys i'll see you in the next video make sure to like and subscribe